Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to look at some expressions of quantity, and this lesson will come in handy for you if you want to specify amounts. Even though there are many expressions of quantity in English, they are pretty easy to remember and to use. So let's go ahead and look at the first examples. First we have piece of, okay? Piece of is when you're talking about a small portion of something or a portion in general. Okay, so let's say that we have a pie here. Okay, now this would be one piece of the pie. This would be two pieces of the pie and this would be three pieces of pie. Or you can have four or you can have five. Okay, so each one is a piece. All right, a piece can be big or a piece can be small. It can come in different sizes, all right? So here we have a piece of cake, like a piece of birthday cake or a piece of wedding cake, two pieces of chocolate, and three pieces of candy, all right? Next we have a bag of, okay, a bag of. For example, a bag of groceries, and you remember that the word groceries is used in America, we say groceries, for talking about food or things that you get at the supermarket. Remember, in America, instead of saying supermarket, a lot of people say grocery store, okay? It's a store full of groceries, the things that you buy so you can eat. So let's look at the other examples. Two bags of popcorn. Okay, and then we have a plastic bag, okay, because normally when you go to the grocery store, you are asked, hey, would you like a bag in plastic or do you want a paper bag? Okay, and you can say, I would like a plastic bag, please. So a plastic bag, and then we have a paper bag. Okay, so plastic bag and paper bag. Sometimes they even now they have those cotton bags, okay? Uh, they're known as the reusable bags that you can wash in the washer machine, washing machine and in the dryer, okay? Those are called reusable bags or cotton bags or a bag made out of fabric. Next we have cup of, okay? A cup of coffee. So you know what a cup is. A cup is just something that you drink out of. Okay, for example, this is a cup, okay, a cup of coffee, two cups of tea, so you have one cup of here, one cup of coffee here, and then you can have uh, two cups of coffee, or two cups of tea, two cups of tea, but look here, we have um, not exactly, we're not talking about quantity here. We're actually going to be describing the cup, but not so much the quantity. So in this case, we say a coffee cup, okay? A coffee cup, all right? So we're not describing the quantity. We're just describing what kind of cup it is, okay? Similar to here, a plastic bag. What kind of bag is it? It's a plastic bag. Or a paper bag. What kind of bag is it? It is a bag made out of paper. And then we have here, box of, okay? So a box of cigarettes, okay? Or you can say, again, a cigarette box. Same sort of thing. In this case, we're not describing what kind of, or, you know, we're talking about what kind of box it is. We're not talking about the quantity, okay? So what kind of box is it? It is a cigarette box, okay? You can say, it is a big cigarette box. It is a small bigger, uh, cigarette box, okay? We specify the type of box, but we are not paying attention to the quantity. Now we have bouquet of, for example, a bouquet of roses. And then same sort of thing, we're not describing quantity, but we're talking about the type of bouquet it is. And this one is a flower bouquet, okay? That's the kind of bouquet it is, it is a flower bouquet. And then we have part of, it says part of my heart is in Paris. Okay, part of my heart's in, par in Paris. Notice here that we have hearts with an apostrophe S because it's a contraction, meaning it's abbreviated for heart is. Okay, a part of my heart's in Paris. A part of my heart is in Paris. 
and I have part of my family in Canada. So not all of your family, but part of your family. Maybe one member, or two members, or three members of your family, okay? So let's go ahead and continue. We have some of, right, some of. Some of my money is in the bank. Again, we're talking about not all of it, just some of it, maybe 30% or 40% of it, okay? Some of my money is in the bank. Some of your jokes aren't funny. So not all your jokes are funny, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to move on and we're going to talk about things that are a little bit different. Um, we have one of, two of, and three of. So we're talking about how many, we're, sp we're specifying more or less the number, okay? One of, two of, three of. One of your friends was at the party. Okay, so you have a group of friends and one of them was at a party. Two of my teeth fell out. So how many specifically? Two, right, of your teeth fell out. They came down. Now we have a quarter of, okay? So a quarter of is like, a quarter is 25 cents also in terms of currency in America, right? So a quarter is one fourth, okay? That is a quarter, okay? Or if you're talking about time, right? Then a quarter is actually not equivalent to 25, but rather a quarter is equivalent to uh, about 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes, okay? A quarter of. A quarter of young adults are overweight, meaning one-fourth or 25% of young adults are overweight, okay? Overweight means you have a weight, you know, you the amount that you weigh, it's too much, okay, than what's recommended by the doctor. Half of, okay, meaning 50%. Half of my salary goes to pay rent, meaning you earn $1,000 per month, $500 goes to the apartment to pay for the apartment, to pay for rent. All right, now we have new words. Most of, meaning the majority of, like 70, 80, 90, 90%, 95%, most of, but not all of it. There's still a little left that's not part of this. Most of my friends in New York have moved to California, so you could say, 80% of my friends from in New York have moved to California, okay? But you wouldn't say 25% of my friends, right? Because we're talking about most of, meaning more than 50%, okay? More than 50%. It could be 60%, it could be 70, 80, 90%, we don't know. But most of my friends in New York have moved to California, meaning they no longer live in New York. They don't have a house there. They don't have their car there. They don't have their life there. They have moved to California. All of, meaning everything. All of my relatives live in Israel, meaning all my relatives. In this case, we use relatives like your cousin, your aunt, your uncle, people like that. Perhaps your mom and dad as well, grandparents, okay? All, all right? So notice that we don't have all of, like here. We just have all. And we could say things like, we all work together, okay? Notice that after all comes a verb, okay? So the verb here is to work. We all work together. Again, we have the same thing. We all know, coming from the verb to know or to know someone, we all know her, okay? And finally, we have not all of, okay? Not all of Australia is a desert. A desert is an area where there is no rain or there is very little rain, okay? For example, the Sahara Desert, okay? The Mojave Desert in California, the uh, Gobi Desert, okay? Not all of them want to go on a field trip, all right? so. A field trip is the word that we use in America, which means excur, oops, okay, I'll write that again, excursion, okay, an excursion is a field trip, okay, so you'll hear both, especially if you go to maybe 
England or something, they would say excursion. But in America, we say field trip. So not all of them want to go on a field trip, meaning you have some students, I'm assuming that we're talking about a class here. There are some students who don't want to go on this particular field trip. Okay, guys? So make sure that you review these words and become familiar with them because I'm sure that they'll be useful to you one day. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye.